nothing to me like my man okay period so if they want to say me a man defender so be it oh <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Moya Stays and I'm back with another video today. I'm doing a QA. A little get to know me. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, and of course, y'all did the damn thing. So let's get straight into the questions. But before we even get into the questions, y'all uh, see my lashes. Listen, y'all have to check out my lash stick. I'm gonna have to check her out right now. This is the first time I've ever done lashes and they last this long. I've gone to lash text before and by day two, three, them start drop out. This is more than two weeks and look at that. They're still holding on for their life and I still look cute. My item that look handicapped. She angled the bangle. She angled that guys. Make sure you wanna check her out at Finesse Touch Beauty on Instagram. I'm gonna put it here. The link is in the description below. Alright, guys, no more chatting. Let's get straight into the video. First question. How old are you? I am 24 years old right now. Um, my birthday is in August, so August. I'm, so this year in August, I'm gonna be 25, 25, baby. So excited for my birthday too. But I don't know, I kind of feel like I get old, you know. Like I can't believe I'm going to be 25. Like I feel like it was just yesterday I was 16 or 18. It's it's crazy. Time is really flying by. Okay, <clears throat> next question. What are some of the things you do not feel scared? Wait, what are some of the things you do to not feel scared to while driving? Oh, I listen to music for sure. Listening to music keeps me very calm when I'm driving. It just it just puts me in you know music is like music feeds your soul, you know. So it just calm me down. Um, depending on the type of music I'm listening to, and then it just yeah, it just put me in a vibe for so I yeah, me a bad driver, I'm a got this, you know? Yeah, music for sure. Where do I see myself in the next five years? In the next five years, I want to be happily married with at least one baby. Oh, I can't wait to have kids. I love kids so much. Um, I want to have at least three successful businesses. I want to be very successful on YouTube, like one of the big OG girls with the big brand deals and everything. And I do hope that by that time, I am a big gifter on TikTok. As I said, by that time, I don't want to be ranking anymore. I just want to be a huge supporter over there. Because no matter what, I'm not gonna, if TikTok still exists, cause <laughs> then I get even more five years and the people, them are lucky though. If it still exists, I would love to just be a big um, gifter over there, support those who need the support, you know? Because I remember when I was ranking on it, but I'm still ranking on it. But then I get the picture. Then I get the picture. Okay, when do you plan to have your first child? Oh my god. Um anytime soon, honestly. Like I really want a baby so bad. As much as my joke around about it, I really want a kid. But I really wanted to get married first. So that's why I'm kinda holding out a bit. But who knows? Maybe next year. Cause last year I said this year. I want to have a baby before I'm 30, obviously. And I'm already going to be 25. But I don't know. Why this sound like it's just so old? But I just feel like me I get so old, man. Even though me young, you know, but Jesus. Alright, but hopefully by next year. If not the year after. But no later than 27. I, I hope. But I definitely want to get married first. So we'll see. Um, my favorite teacher in high school. That's a good question. Who was my favorite teacher in high school? Damn. Um, my favorite teacher in high school. Who was that? Who was my favorite teacher in high school? Think more, I think. Damn. And I, I had quite a lot of teachers that I loved, you know. I would probably say my food and nutrition teacher, you know, Miss Julia Hall. I think so. That lady was amazing. She was different from the rest. She never go on like her. She make party. And she should just relate to us. Like, like you know, not that we're equal. But I used to feel so comfortable around her. Like, I I, I was my true self around that teacher. You know, I never feel like I have to do the most and be the most prim and proper. Like, she was one of the best teachers I had. I think so, yeah. Miss Julia Hall, my food and nutrition teacher. Big up yourself, Miss Hall. Because I see you be keeping up with me. <laughs> Big up yourself. Love you. 
um okay give two main objectives to a fairly new entrepreneur that's a good one stay focused and do not give up stay focused and do not give up it's very easy to compare yourself to other i um, mean you know, businesses and feel like say boy so for example you want to start sell clothes i start telling yourself say boy too much people are sell clothes mm -mm. it's enough people in the world and the 50 clothing store can cover everybody no matter what other people are doing you can succeed just have a focus um find good marketing techniques social media is here for a reason especially tiktok where, where um algorithms are great and easy to go viral Start your business page and post consistently. Be consistent. I'm saying this right now, but I'm a hypocrite because I've been slacking on mine. We're not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'm gonna get back to the ground. I'm gonna get back serious. But yeah, just stay consistent and just take it one day at a time. It's not going to be easy. So you just have to, as much as stay dedicated, stay focused, and don't give up because it's not gonna be easy. But when it start working out, you're gonna be so happy that you never give up, and you're gonna be so happy because nothing, nothing like when you. If, for my girlies who have the small business, I don't know what I mean. Nothing makes a day more than when you get a one seal or a two seal. You're so happy for package your little something in your nice bag and send it off and I'll give your customer. It, it can make your whole day. Trust me, I know. So that's 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 basically my little two tips. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um. Bad breath, bad breath for sure. Me can't work with it. Me can't, me can't work with bad breath. God has me can't. As someone me can't, me can't deal with. I hate it so much. Like I feel like, why is your breath stinking? Even though I'm not really sad, cause some people have condition, like probably mental, not mental. Sorry, um, health issues. But me just, I hate bad breath, man. I hate it. And two people that pretend to be something they're not. Um. Okay. what's their biggest regret in life um well my biggest regret in life is some situations that i put myself into when i was younger because i i gave up i must i spoke a little about this in my tiktok video that i have on here how tiktok changed my life but at one point in my life i kind of gave up on myself like because nothing was going in my going my way i couldn't get a job a proper job after getting my degree and my subjects and everything and i gave up on myself and started doing some stuff where i know it was Managa said beneath me, but I just I just expect better from myself. But you see that that stage where you give up on life or you give up on yourself, I just say no, anything is anything. I, I reached that point in my life and I wish I could go back and just tell myself that Maya is going to be okay. Just go through it, go through the process, learn what you have to learn during this time. Don't give up on yourself. But I definitely gave up on myself and I regret that. I regret giving up on myself and allowing myself to to go through stuff that I didn't have to go through um how did you know tj was the one for you <laughs> oh god all right i knew tj was the one for me because he sees me like he's beneath everything he sees me men that i come across they don't see me for me it's just the pretty looks or the body or whatever whatever that interests them but he wanted to know me on a deeper level like he he looks out for me he protects me he guides me he motivates me to be a better version of myself and most some men not most men some men they don't give two shits about that them just want to say them have you them just want to say them can get to them want and that's it like it's very hard it's very rare to find a man who genuinely looks out for you like he wants the best for you and puts you even above himself like sometimes tj um, makes some decisions that i know that it's, it's literally just for me like it's just for improve for improve my life and my situation and i've never experienced love like that before never ever 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 that's why them ever said my friend but my name is not my friend no, because he deserves it he's a great guy and in comparison to what I've dealt with before, he looks out for me. He looks out for my heart um, and he feeds my soul, literally. And as I said, I feel so safe with him and he protects me. He's my protector. Nothing to me like my man, okay? Period. So if they want to be a man defender, so be it. Oh, that man. <laughs> um, where is your dream vacation and how many stamps are you collecting this year? my dream vacation is dubai i want to go to dubai 
so bad, but why do I? I don't know, baby money. I've, 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 I've the, you have the coils to go to Dubai, I feel like I feel like you can't really go to Dubai with it. It's like how you can go to a Caribbean country with you know, a decent amount of money and still have fun. I don't think you can go to Dubai unless you have a proper amount of money. So, me definitely, <laughs> me definitely say me have to, mm -mm. Me have to, me have to save and go. But me hopefully next year, fingers crossed, because I really want to go. But for now, my, my, I don't call it no smaller destination that I want to go is Turks and Caicos and I'm hoping that I get to go for my birthday. Um, how many stamps I plan to collect? Hopefully, if everything goes to plan three. I want to travel for my birthday. I want to travel for TJ's birthday. And also, I'm kind of put, giving myself a responsibility this year. I want my best friend to travel for her birthday this year. So I'm putting it out in the in the in the universe hoping to speak it into existence because i wanted to get the experience and just have a great time so i'm kind of you know taking it and i hope it works out though as i say it's just it's just a dream of mine i really want to do that for my best friend so even if it's not this year maybe next year but i definitely want to do that so yeah so if everything goes to plan three stamps this year baby but who knows you know because sometimes we plan on god wipes so it's just whatever wherever god takes us this year work with it even for one time we get to go up on the plane this year me, me just grateful still because at one point in my life, I never know if I could have gone and none at all. Oh. Um, do pranks on TJ. Guys, I. Alright, so I, a, lot of, a lot of persons kept mentioning doing pranks. Guys, I have the pranks lined up. Just trust me. The thing is, I don't want to do no fake pranks. So, I can't prank him every day. It's going to, he's going to pick up. And two, I'm working on getting a camera because it's very hard to prank you with my phone. Um, I feel it hard for I the phone. Like the first prank I did, trust me. You know, if you don't notice, I never even position the phone good. So that's for telling us that it's hard. But I, I'm gonna get a um GoPro, GoPro, very very soon. So once I get the camera, I will get the pranks them back to back. I promise you, know, cause I have some great ideas. And you don't know me. From when I see my first prank, you know, so I'm gonna come with no boring prank, no, no simple cheat and prank and them something. No, my my prank, I'm gonna be bangers and bangers and bangers. So just wait till, just wait, okay? Give me a little time, just wait. I got, I got y'all, I got y'all. Don't worry about it, I got y'all. How are you mentally? Thank you for that question, Queen Festive. I really appreciate it. Um, mentally, I am doing so good so so good i'm so happy right now like i'm doing everything that i love like y'all don't understand how amazing it is to get up out of your bed every day and be doing something that you're passionate about and that you love um don't get me wrong from time to time i do have my sad days because life isn't perfect you know there are days when i get up and i don't want to get out of bed or you know are days when i might cry because things aren't going my way but otherwise from that overall i know i'm very very happy like i'm 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 comfortable right now i have good people around me in my life right now and it's just it's just amazing how far i'm coming from and i'm just grateful for every little blessing i have right now in my life because god is good and life is truly worth living and it's amazing you know yeah okay okay Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where is the wig from? The guys, the curly wig is from Curly Me here. Um, you can check them out. They are websites and it's they're very reasonable. You can check them out, y'all. How do you deal with negative comments on social media? Boy, I'm gonna know how I'm gonna deal with it, you know. Honestly. But I've reached a point where cause at one point it used to bother me because I, I could not understand I could not understand why people dislike me so much. Cause to me I'm a sweetheart, like mana I I mean people even have it to my hype, I'm gonna get why because to me I'm such a nice person. But I mean self praise and a recommendation them say. So who knows? But I realize that it's it's just gonna happen. Like people are just going to like you for no reason. Cause sometimes I see some comments and people them literally say I don't like that girl, you know, I don't know why, I just not like her. It's like, that's crazy. How do you just like somebody for no reason? And and you have some people with every single screener card I'm under, whether it's a good screener card, like whether it's something positive I'm talking about, or if it's come with like a negative too, because I'm not perfect. Sometimes I make some decisions where I wish I could just go back and not do, you know? So I'm not going to say I'm perfect. Sometimes I am in drama, sometimes I am in negative too. Very rare though, but sometimes it catch me a message, you know? Watch you again. And them always like it's like it's like it makes them happy to bring me down 
or to bring somebody else down but what i get to, i had to just understand that it has nothing to do with me it's it has everything to do with them like it helps them to feel better about themselves like bringing down another woman or bringing down somebody else that they don't know in real life they don't know anything about besides the little that they see on social media it makes them feel better about themselves to, to say something negative about you which is very sad but it's it is what it is but just accept it and but just say i have to tell myself every day that i know who i am and what these people's opinion and pers and um perception of me isn't me i have to know myself i know who i am i know my heart i know what i'm about so whatever you have to say about me that's like your business because last time we check i don't know you you know me and you are passing on judgment on me you know so but it's actually sad though like i wish people could stop doing that because not everybody is strong mentally to deal with it i don't know i always have this thing where oh i only choose to do the media just because somebody chose to do social media does not mean that they signed a contract to be bullied or for people just sit down and bring them down every chance them get when i have to understand that you see mental health is a serious thing and not everybody is strong enough to, to deal with such negativity and you have people where you think might be able to handle it. like you might see will come on live every day and smile and and have the greatest time and when the when the live end or we turn off the camera you don't know what these people are going through you don't know if them if they want to you know analyze themselves you don't know so i wish people could be kinder towards people because the world is crazy and you never know what people are going through sometimes people are going through things that they, they they don't even speak about and you are there bullying this person and then if the person should die tomorrow or on the first i can post up rest in peace and oh my god and oh my god and oh my god when the, if when the person was alive on the top about the person the worst way the world is just a crazy place yeah man so the best advice i would give towards dealing with negativity and the media is just stay true to yourself and just tell yourself say me know i know who i am so your opinion of me should not bother me whatever you think about me that's a fair business not mine that's that's all i have to like that's what i have to program my mind to say and sometimes i try to avoid looking at it too but me kind of knows you know so mega fast i'm gonna look what they must say me can't really help it too but if if you're not strong enough to deal with it try to just not um look at it or read the comments and so um what is my dream career this that i'm doing <laughs> I know it might sound silly to some people, but from I was younger, I always wanted to do YouTube. I always wanted to be in the spotlight and do social media. It's just, it's just, it, it fits my personality. Like, it's something that I'm so passionate about. I love doing YouTube so much. It makes me so happy. But I just love it. Like, I don't know. I love, I love it. You and TJ planning on moving in together? Well, yeah, that is the plan. Considering that we intend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, cause that's like, the, isn't that like the next step in a serious relationship? Yeah, we definitely plan to. We can't live it um separately forever. What are my thoughts on open relationships? Honestly, to each his own. Like I don't bash it because this way everybody relationship is different. You know what works for me might not work for you. I me personally, I'm not at the stage right now where I would want an open relationship. But if somebody has decided to do that because it works for their relationship and it makes them happy, why not? It better listen guys, you see? It better just be honest with yourself and this is my problem with people that and then sometimes people don't really even know what they want, you know. That's the thing. If you know that you are not the type of person who wants to be in a what the word is it? What do you call it? Monogamous? me find the way i'm putting yes <laughs> like you don't want to be in a relationship with only one person you want an open relationship just be honest with yourself be honest with the person that you're dating because there's other people out there that might be interested in that find somebody who who wants to be in an open relationship with you then you're gonna pretend say you, you can be with a, a one one way relationship and then you're gonna talk to somebody who is expecting you to be faithful and then they keep on right around the clock and then they make the you break the person out they make the person unhappy when you could have just been honest with themselves and find somebody who believes in the same thing that you do it's that simple so for those who want to open a relationship nothing wrong with that me personally i i don't want one because well, i don't know it's kind of like a one man type of girl. Me, me love my man and me under fume skin and that's that. I'm not really, I'm not really love man like that. To be honest, me just love my man and that's it. I'm not really love man like that. Like, them man, you know, they just give me the icks. Like, ugh. Like, sometimes when they find the road, I'm gonna look me, I'm, my, my whole body just cringe. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really find one attractive. I don't know why. I'm not really, I'm not really love man. <laughs> like, one man, my man, and that's it. I'm not really, I'm not really like him. I don't know why. 
what are your goals before having a child definitely i want to get married and i would love to own my own home too but if that's that one is kind of um i'm not very strict on the even though i should be you know not gonna lie, but i'm more strict on the marriage like i definitely want to get married first and then have a baby as i said life is life and if it don't work out that way it's okay i won't die because another day may i be a man and may i do things then if you have a baby so if god slapped me with a baby right or so i may have to deal with it and work with it but i would love to um get married first not gonna lie and as i say if in god is willing i would like to own my own my own home too that would be nice too um do you have any regrets about your relationship no you know um the only thing i wish i could change i wish we had um then again maybe we know if i'm for say but i change up but i would have been exclusive a bit sooner does that make sense to y'all like I was kind of really scared to date him, like take him serious. But now that I I have and I experience him as a boyfriend, and I know that damn like this man girl, he's amazing. You know, I wish I wish I hadn't like been a punk so long. But at the same time, who knows? Maybe because I waited so long to like actually secure the deal and everything, maybe that's why it's working out so good now. So probably my office will regret it. But if I was supposed to regret anything, that would be it. I could have just give, I would have given him a chance sooner. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Uh, okay why well, i don't like to answer messages guys <laughs> it's not that i don't like to answer messages and it's just that it's so much messages like when i understand my dms are flooded sometimes i miss business messages hold on guys my nails dirty sometimes i miss our business messages because it's a lot i can't get to see them but when once i see them like once i see like i mention the easiest one to find are the mentions like when you mention me in a story i find them easier because they pop up more but other than that, it's really hard. And then too, guys, may be honest with you. It's not. It's once me in my life, my life I'm gonna watch show. Like I'm gonna really dip on my phone and I talk to people all day. Like I, I me just can't really bother with it. And I feel like it's because of TikTok lives. Like because you have to talk so long pan life. It's like when you're in your life, you don't want to talk. Like I just wanna just zone out and be in my own world. So my barely answer message and I barely talk to people. But. It's not a case sometimes when we just choose. Sometimes as I say, I can't see the message them because it's a lot. Or two, I kind of zone out. Once I in my life, I'm, I just zone out in my own little world. Um, what's something that makes you the moist lace? Period. Love this question. I would say my personality and my style. Like just the way I carry myself, it gives me, ooh, she's that girl. <laughs> what I try to be, you know? yeah I, I like that that's that's kind of where the name came from and i got that name from high school like because at that point slay was like the word you know like how unfleek and all them words that they come about slays was the word and the people just always like my love my my love of my address and my love of my just always cute and neat or whatever so it's like and that's the little who i got the name maya slays like you know like she slays period and yeah i've just worked with that name forever i was actually thinking about changing it but i was like nah i'm gonna keep it because <laughs> right now the word slay is not really in a style no more but i'm just saying mm -mm, i'm gonna keep it y'all i'm gonna be that maya slays forever <laughs> um guys some of these questions want to send me is it's like couple questions so i guess you guys thought it was for the couple channel but it's just for my channel what's my greatest accomplishment um definitely living on my own like being able to afford to live on my own pay my bills on time um owning my own vehicle like paying it off full cash like no loan or nothing which nothing is wrong with but i'm just i'm just yeah that's my greatest achievement like having owning stuff owning furniture all of those stuff because at one point i didn't think i could own anything maybe honestly don't know so that re right now is definitely my greatest accomplishment knowing that i you know I got you all the things that we already have forgot you and I'm here right now. Thanks to God. You know, I'm here now. Okay, what other questions can I answer? What is my love language? Gifts. Gifts, gifts, gifts. And 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 physical touch. Gifts are my love language. Like you can listen to me. If you even call me and say, Hey Moya, I got you a piece of cake. 
me happy like a bread. I love gifts. I love gifts so much. If you get me a lip gloss, it cause when I say gifts, I don't want to the tip me at all the expensive things them. No, like and worse when I know that you put thought into like I can tell that like, okay you listen to me like you know you know that I love lip gloss so you buy me a lip gloss you know I love jewelry so you buy me jewelry like that makes me happy 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 I love gifts and I love physical touch like it's when me in love I need to see you all the time yeah I'm that clingy girl but I try my best not to be too clingy but we just ah, I just love I love hugging I, I love, I'm a very huggy huggy person like when I love you and I, I need to hug you and it goes for friends too and some type of family like i'm very like if i love you i'm very mm, yeah <laughs> i'm like that I, I love hugging and i'm that's why when i meet my supporters i'm like hey girl and you know we talk because i'm very like affectionate if you could choose a superpower what would you choose if i could choose a superpower i would definitely choose being able to read people's minds because sometimes what you see is not what it really is I do, and i do people like to pretend so much and it's so weird to me people hate you know dislike you because I've, I've experienced that not even one two three times you only per time like people hate you to the bone and them just insist on being your friend or insist on being around you and it's like if you don't like somebody why don't you stay far from there like if me not like somebody when i to be one of them you know but these people them will smile in your face I don't want to do the worst things to you. So sometimes I wish I could just read people's mind and be like, oh, you love me for two or oh, you don't fuck with me. Okay, bye. Like, I really wish I could read people's minds because people are crazy and weird. People are crazy and weird. What made you start doing YouTube? I love your channel so much. Oh, thank you. Um, As I said, guys, I've always wanted to do YouTube from when I was a little girl. My grew up, I watched the YouTube of them. I used to do OG YouTubers, Jamaican YouTubers like Trabas petite lyric like them make me know say, oh jamaicans can be too much because i grew up watching like the, the white girls and you know so not even them time they yeah, barely ever had black americans on youtube i it really got into like it started trending after a while but at one point it was just be white people that do makeup and them something if, if you know you know and it, it just advanced advanced and then the jamaicans come on it and i was like oh yeah man so it can be youtube period so they definitely paved the way for um all the youtubers after and us two would be baby youtubers so yeah i've always wanted to do youtube and i'm so happy i'm doing it and i'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the channel enjoying the videos especially the vlogs i know i love the vlogs more and i'll try my best to do as much vlogs as i can but you know sometimes guys when i really do not when i really go up on the road so that's when they end up getting like a sit down video like this okay and the one last question you ever give heads lol remember are you saying no boring question um yeah wrap it up bye guys love when we wrap it up but let's just say he ain't missing out on nothing period <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all watch the ads. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uno never ask me much question. I'll be a couple, couple questions ask me. And you know many times I answer them question here without TJ. So I guess we can save these questions for the couple channel whenever we do another spicy q &A. But I love you know, guys. Thank you so much again for all the love and the support. Please watch the ads. I know sometimes they can't bother. But if them come up, just put on the phone and watch them. And by the time you come back, it gone. Bye guys, love you know. Bye.